Hello and welcome to today's guided Lexio Divina and Merry Christmas to you. I hope that you had a good and joyful day and that the presence of God in this world is felt by you and experienced by you. Before we begin today, we will be hearing, hearing scripture a total of four times as always, and I will guide you what to focus on during the silence that follows each reading. But I invite you to begin by simply taking a moment to quiet your mind and quiet your body. Find a comfortable spot and sit. And just allow yourself to slow down and to rest and invite you just to think about one joyful, positive memory that has come through this Christmas season. And I invite you to remember that one thing as tiny and brief as it may have been, and consider why it was meaningful to you. What about it was good? Take a moment simply to remember that experience and to be grateful. And let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we are grateful for whatever way you come into our lives and into this world. Open our eyes that we may see your presence all around us. Open our hearts that we may share the gift of your love and your wisdom in this world. And it's in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 18th chapter, beginning with the 15th verse. During this first reading, I invite you simply to listen and notice if there's a word or a phrase that seems particularly meaningful to you right now. And during the quiet that follows, just sit and ruminate, ponder on that word or phrase. People were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Hear this reading now a second time. In the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider how this word or this phrase 
is relevant to you in your life right now. People were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Hear this reading now a third time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider what God may be encouraging you to do or to be through this word or phrase. Open yourself up to what God may be inviting you to, to do, to be, as I said, or perhaps to change. People were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the children come to me, and do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it.
Hear this reading now one last time. And in the quiet that follows, I invite you to either sit silently in the presence of God or to pray to God. People were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we invite you to help us understand what it means to be like a child in our relationship to you. Help us to better understand who you are and who you call us each and as a community to be. And it's in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen.